Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. If you saw uh, my video yesterday, where the heck did it go? <laughs> it's right here. I did a swipe, one single swipe, using Amsterdam and water. Dried nicely. The pearl is really pretty. Uh, today I want to do a chaos swipe. And ju it's just the way it sounds. I'm going to put a puddle of paint, house paint, and then I'm just going to throw in all my little leftover pieces of paint. All right. I have a bunch of them. Put on some gloves. Always level your canvas. I need to put a couple sticks right here. Perfect. All right. You leave that there. Hopefully the camera's still in focus. I, this is um, PPG Multi Pro. It's just a cheap house paint that I get at Home Depot. It's about $16 a gallon. Alright, I want to spread that out a little bit. my spinner out. I'm not sure if I'm going to spin it or not. Might. All right. I'm going to start with a little bit of orange. Pretty. Uh, let's see. I have a turquoise blue kind of color. It's a great way to use up your little odds and ends of paint that really aren't enough to do a pour with. Red. Not sure which red that is. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, I believe that might be Payne's Gray. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. Just grab up the paints you have on your shelf. Go for it. It's amazing actually how these how it works out. You would think they'd get all mixed up and got a weird lavender color here. Don't know where that came from. This is bright aqua green by Liquitex. I know that paint. Yes, if you've been watching, you know that I've been experimenting with uh, swiping with just Amsterdam and water uh, without Floetrol, uh, Aussie Floetrol. Today I made my swipe a little bit thinner. I want to see if that's going to change things. They're all experiments. I love it.
What's this? And that's Cobalt Metallic by Artist Loft. A pretty color. All right, I think I want to do a little, a little more red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love red. Add a little more blue. Can't go wrong with blue. All right. Now, I got a little bit of this strange green. Now I'll put a little more yellow in there, brighten it up just a little bit. Okay, now let me move everything out of the way here. Okay, like I said, my swipe colors are Amsterdam Titanium White and um, Water. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use both the black and the white. We'll see. Just spread it on the back of your palette knife. Don't go too thick. All right, I'm gonna go right through here. Let's do a black one. And that's my icky. amused you can probably tell uh, let me do another black one You want to just barely touch the surface of your paint. Actually, if you kind of lift up a little bit, you can kind of feel the suction. Just keep it like right at that point. I'm just learning how to swipe. I've been interested in it, but uh, I looked into getting some Aussie Flow Troll, and it was just really expensive. Let's try it. Try this out for a while. At least until I can get better at swiping. All right. A 
Let's do another white one right here. Now we're getting a cool front here in Texas. It's going to be 98. <laughs> Today is over 100. All right. Right here. This might go over, but... Pretty. It still amazes me that you can mix all those colors and swipe through them, and yet you see all the colors. It's crazy. something to slide on. I like when I get to use up all my leftover paint and clean all my containers out and fill them up again. All right, where are we? This is gonna go over this side. I think we might spin it. Spinning's a lot of fun. I could use some fun. <laughs> uh, every day in my studio is fun. I love it. My husband thought I'd be burnt out a couple years ago. He was wrong. I'm a geek for, for paint reactions and things that go on. Now, there's no silicone in any of these paints. This white paint is just Amsterdam paint. Get off of me. And water. The black and the white. See where the weight of the paint is. Right in the middle. Let me put this other glove on. <laughs> oh, terrible. That's all right. If paint was going to kill me, then I'd have been dead a long time ago. Let's give it a spin. Let's move that out of the way. And then out of the way, make sure you have everything around you covered in plastic. Uh, this does make a mess. All right. I paint barefoot. I have a tarp down here, but I learned a long time ago it doesn't pay to wear shoes and paint. Well, it's not for me anyway. I'm a messy person when it comes to painting. I have a one-track mind. I can't think of anything else. My husband comes in here and he tries to straighten things out a little bit or tells me, yeah, maybe you should straighten some stuff out in here. I would be lost. Wow, that's pretty. And these big cells, the little ones and the big ones, pretty. Let's see, what's that? Let's see I think I want to adjust my composition here a little bit.
You can make the paint go where you want it. Always start in the middle of your canvas. It's simple, but it's a lot of fun. Now you don't need house paint to do this. I've done it with tube paint. I've also done it with Artist Loft Soft Body White. You get a little cloudiness when you use that. It definitely works. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Like I said, I'm fairly new to uh, YouTube. And I could use the support. And it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. I think we're good. We shouldn't have any problems with this drying. When you're done, always scrape the bottom of your canvas. Touch up any spots that paint won't make a 90 degree turn so you have to touch up your corners most likely get the paint off the bottom I find my hands are the best I'm going to take my gloves off I'm going to give it a torch and I'm going to bring you down for a closer look Get all the air bubbles out of your paint, otherwise they'll leave pin. They'll leave pinholes. Cool. All right. Sometimes I click the camera off when I'm trying to bring it down. If I do, I'm sorry. I want to thank you ahead of time for being here. Come back. Okay, this is gonna make noise. All right, so far so good. Beautiful. I love this corner right here. Looks like stained glass. Excuse the lights. I hope to continue on doing my art on YouTube. I'll definitely be improving. I got to find a better camera situation. I keep running out of space. And uh, my lights could be better. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.